Welcome back. Are you ready to use your imagination and come with me on a journey back in time to the 1920s and a hot day in Egypt? Let's look again at this image. It was taken in 1926 by Ramsay MacDonald, who was a British Prime Minister, and he was visiting the recently discovered tombs. Let's imagine that it's a few years earlier in 1922, and you are Howard Carter, the lead archaeologist, leading Lord and Lady Carnarvon, who have paid for the excavations. Let's imagine that's this small group at the bottom of the image. Start thinking about how hot you feel with the sun beating down on your back. How the sandy ground feels uneven under your feet. How the air tastes gritty with sand. Perhaps you have to shield your eyes from the sun or hold a handkerchief to your mouth to stop you breathing in the sand. You might be able to hear the wind blowing over the higher ground in the distance. You can see the entrance to the tomb up ahead and feel excited and maybe a little nervous about going in. You start to walk towards it. When you get there, you have to stop in the doorway to let your eyes adjust to the dark. You blink several times before you can see. You feel instantly cool as you're shaded from the strong sun and protected from the sandy wind. It's cool and quiet. Your eyes adjust to the darkness and you can see walls either side of a tunnel with stone steps going down. Carefully, you start to walk down them, hearing the echo of your footsteps. You hold on to the wall to steady yourself. The excitement is mounting. You reach a wall that you've waited weeks to remove. You accept that the tomb of Tutankhamun lies beyond. Slowly, you break a small hole in the top corner of the wall. It comes away easily and you can see there is a dark space beyond. You lift up a long metal pole to test how far it goes back. It's big. You can feel hot air escaping from the room onto your face. You hold up a candle to see if there are any dangerous gases escaping, but it just flickers slightly. Standing on the tip of your toes, you peer through the gap in the wall. At first, only darkness, but then your candle starts to pick up glints of gold from every corner of the room. Strange animal faces appear on statues and from behind you, Lord Carnarvon says, can you see anything? You take a deep breath and say, yes, wonderful things. Now it's time to come back to today and finish our session. Here are some of the images of what Howard Carter would have seen. I hope you enjoyed the story and well done for all your fantastic observations today. Have a look at some of the follow-up activities or choose another time travel TV episode. Bye-bye for now.